that you just posted that and then went back to partying, went home, went to bed, never looked at it again? Yeah, I didn't <laughs> notice it until. I love it. So subscribe, 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 subscribe. 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 I blame Bob Saget for this. It's really Bob Saget's fault. His last, his last act of comedy. Any other day, we start the show and probably do a full three hours on what happened this weekend in the Barstool world. But Bob comes in, he gets, you know, he takes the top spot. Um, but if it wasn't for that, the conversation we would be having about a man, a gentleman named Barstool Chief and Ozzy Guillen. I mean, I could talk about this for 15 hours. This picture, if you don't know, Chicago boys opened up a new bar this weekend, Barstool River North. No hats, no jerseys, no long sleeve tees, no, no XXL tees, no Timberlands. No, no Timberlands. <laughs> I mean that. Don't even get me. Do not get me started on that. That was one of the worst. That was the worst. That was the worst. But yes, it is uh, our, uh, our first brick and mortar bar, uh, Barstool River North in Chicago. And they had their grand opening this weekend. And uh, Ozzy came through. Ozzy Guillen, ex-manager of the White Sox. He's been on the MLB like analyst train for a little while. Um, he's been down with the Barstool, the, the Chicago guys and the Dog Walk Boys for a while now. So he comes to the party, the, the grand opening. And at some point in the night, around midnight, I believe that the post was, right? Yeah, I was late. I think I was the first reply to it. Yeah, which is so fucking funny. <laughs> we'll get to it in a second. 12.31 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Chief posts a tweet, which, but I think he was trying to also. The whole tweet's convoluted. I think he was joking that people were congratulating him for the bar, and he's like, "I didn't really open this bar. Like, you know, I'm just, I right. Yeah. I think this was going. For. I would guess so. Like, you yeah. know, bar still open this bar. Everyone's congratulating Chief and Chief's Eddie a, and Carl and the Chief's guys. Chief's a pretty like, normal dude. Whatever yeah. like, he wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't doing anything other than just like setting out a tweet. It right. was very, right. pretty basic. No, but I'm saying, like, it, he was fucked up, is my point. Oh, it was, definitely. It was late, drunk. and, like, definitely the tweet. Was I mean, look, like, his, look at his eyes. Tweet. Yeah. And so, dude, he's greasy, he's sweaty, <laughs> he's hot. He is smiling like a schoolgirl, and he is ear to ear, cheek to cheek. Look with at Ozzy uh, Guillen with his hand, his hand right over Ozzy's face. Look like he's heart. checking Ozzy's pulse. It looks like, so like, much. <laughs> Like like an, is his heart rating as fast as mine is? Yeah. Because, because I am fucking boned up over here. <laughs> it is such an engagement photo. So I saw it the next morning, and I and in my head I was like, did did Chief fuck Ozzy? And then and then I scroll down even more, and you hit the nail on the head. Engagement pick, bro. Engagement I was photo pick as hell. I was on my parents' house, sitting in front of the fire, alone by myself. 12 30, 1 30, I think it might have been because I think it's Chicago <laughs> time, whatever it was. And I let out an audible, What? Yeah, that, that I mean, like it's, made it's my a, dog a, pop up. Like, what chief, take a ridiculous picture. <laughs> <laughs> it is a jarring photograph. It, it is a, I swear to God, I'm not joking. It's a where were you when moment. Yeah. I think I will remember for the rest of my life, like when I saw it in my bed the morning after, and the the fun that ensued with it is the the quintessential photo uh, engagement photo. I mean, the it's, post engagement, like I, I the post look proposal. At, let's give it. A <laughs> look at that. I didn't even know. I didn't even think about the face until afterwards. I was so focused on the hand, dude. He is ear to ear with Ozzy Guillen. Engage the, I the think photo. The photoshops where they flip it and they put yeah they put the Chief, ring on. Chief him. got a manicure that before Barstool River River North Open. He's got great nails. That's the other I thing know, that was so I funny. Know. His like I a girl a, a girl really knows usually when the when the photo is coming or the or the man like tells you like hey you should go get your ring your your uh, your nails done so it looks pretty. I mean he looked perfectly manicured. Hand over the chest. That is how every girl <laughs> displays the ring while not being like, yo, yeah. look at my rock. You she know? was like, I'm popping by the nail salon, take, <laughs> leaving my hat at home because I am getting engaged at River North today. <laughs> the, I mean, and, and also, let's be fair to Chief here about one thing. Look, jacked. Looking jacked. Jacked. Looking real jacked. It's not a bad photo Look, yeah. if you weren't... Um, like caressing and snuggling with an ex MLB. <laughs> other than that, other than that, the hair looks good. The arms Yo, are big. Yo, his nails look so good. They almost like they for real look like. Chief, you get a manicure. I think you get a manicure. <laughs> I mean, look at them. They are perfectly you got shaped. Some fucking not pink a, ass nails, baby. Not a hangnail on them. Like yo, 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 straight up. 
I could get a hand job from Chief. And yeah. like, that's a girl. <laughs> like I, I, I could get that. I would look at that that paw and be like, that's a pretty hand. Dude, I'm that not gonna. Is... I'm not gonna lie, Chief. Your nails are adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and what's so funny is Ozzy, like he Ozzy's tweeting it and playing along with it and everything. In the moment, he probably had to be like, "What the well, fuck was well, that?" I just did grab my dick. Okay, here's Ozzy thought. walked out of there. I was like, "I got sexually assaulted." In Barcelona Sports. I don't even want to know. Can you, see, can you see the other hand? Is that the other like is the other hand on the ass? Like, well, I don't know what's. The other hand's probably reaching around. Uh, here's here's my one attempt. Because Chief said he had other pictures. And he was like, I wish I posted this one. I don't think I've ever been fucked up enough that I've just like blindly been like, this picture oh, in my photo. Sure. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, that even that one's kind of <laughs> funny. Look at these cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I, that I, one's a more normal, like, we're night out having a good time. That's, that's yeah, also a picture. Yeah, you see that, fucked up, like, and you go, oh, they're drunk. Yeah. But you don't go, they're drunk. They might fuck tonight? They, uh, they, yeah, they get a kiss. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> Jackie's locked <lying. laughs> Uh... Mm. Um, I was gonna say, uh, th th what's weird too is he's a Cubs fan, and Ozzy, you know, that'd be like me snuggling with Joe Girardi, <laughs> <laughs> fucking kissing Brian Cashman. Yeah, uh, and I feel like I, I, he, I can't he's speak more to like yeah, Chicago yeah, yeah. now. I get it, but it is a little bit funny. Here's my thought: What if, what if, stand up? Let me see if this works. Let me see if like my theory even is plausible. Let's say, let's say Zach's taking a picture of us, right? Call today. Zach's taking a picture. Thanks. Let's say that we've just like dapped up, right? And I've like hugged you, and then like I guess I've let go, and then I'm just thinking like when you do that, sometimes you're like, all right, like yeah, like that. yeah I, I would yeah. usually do a back pat I'll if, go back. if I would. If, I maybe think like I would we go. hug. I'm like, hey, good to see you, man. Yeah, and then sure. so, and then someone's like, yo, take a picture, and I'm and I'm, I'm coming back from the hug, and I'm like. Hey, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then maybe it was like... It was I can see that second, happening. You know? It is. It, you know what it is? It could be... You know that very, very famous picture of Muhammad Ali where he's standing over him? Yeah, yeah, Have you ever seen the video of that? No. It's like a split second. Right, right He right. just goes like, uh, real quick. It looks like he was like, uh, like standing over him, posing, holding it. He just quickly... And maybe it was just a hug and a quick pat and gone and the camera just caught it. Uh, Nick said we need a live photo. If yeah. there's a live photo of it, maybe maybe we can explain this somehow. As with most live photos, you probably end up seeing Ozzy's dick. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of live photos to pan down too quickly. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, that's a fucking shit. <laughs> but, uh, and again, but you know what? You know what ruins my theory there? It's the face. Because everything we just did there, so at no point are me and you caressing cheeks together. <laughs> no point. I mean, that is like ear to Ozzy's ear, bro. Ozzy's nipped up, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his nips very far away from yeah, his... Yeah, Ozzy's got, Ozzy's got fights nips. Yeah. <laughs> Ozzy's got Vince McMahon nips <laughs> going towards that uh, uh, armpit. Uh, the next morning, Chief wakes up. I mean, by the time Chief woke up, because he... I'm sure did he know? Up. I haven't talked to him. Did he know what he did? Like was he, he know like, what he did? Like, like when he wake up in the morning being like, "What the fuck?" Well, he uh, I was gonna say he woke up to me alone. I sent like ten tweets. <laughs> Early morning Twitter crew. I was like, "Look at this! Look at this!" I'm retweeting all the photoshops. I think, by the way, uh, maybe you can help me do this. I want to set a date. I want to set a wedding date, and we're gonna have a, a online wedding for when the day happens. <laughs> we'll, we'll do more photoshops. I'm gonna have Ozzy and Chief get married. We'll we'll send out. Yeah, we'll make some invitations like this. We'll pick a date, and uh, yeah, what are they saying? September fifth. Sure. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Shout out to whoever made this. Uh, the official wedding date, save the dates now, we'll send them out. Chief and Ozzy are on uh, Saturday, September 5th, 2022. And we will we'll have more, more, they, I mean, they should, they're smart, they should do this. But, <laughs> um, um, he, he, his first tweets were very funny. He was like, Everybody be cool. <laughs> Did you see that? Let me get him. Because he was like, everybody be cool. And like, if you if you saw anything, like, don't say anything about it. Like, like nothing happened. It was, uh, he goes, oh boy, it's so hard to find tweets of ours like during the weekend where it's like, yeah, that was. Here's, everyone just be cool. Yeah. Be Nobody cool. say anything about anything. Just leave your mind to move on. <laughs> and then I, I had, I had texted him because I was, just, I wanted to be like, what happened here? Um. He goes, dude, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember posing for a pic with him. Didn't mean to click that pic for that tweet. Def didn't mean to go cheek to cheek. Because <laughs> at first I was like, I'm happy that he like, like good on him for letting this like this out into the world. You know, sometimes Barstool, it's like you, you bite the bullet for content. Like I look, I look fat, I look gross, whatever, but it's going to be funny. Um, but this was not one of those. He did not want that picture out there. He tweeted it. I thought maybe someone else took it and then was like, oh, we got to post that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nope, it was just him. It was an accident. And, and it has brought us... 
such joy. <laughs> and and nuptials uh, in September. So congratulations to Chief and Ozzy. I got Chief. Hey, got Chief's on the line. We just kind of broke it all down. It's um, it's one of the funniest pictures in Barstool history. It's up there. I said I said it's truly if you're a Barstool <laughs> fan. I did. I said it's truly a where were you when moment. I really think so. Guess what? I wasn't even there mentally. Like, I didn't even <laughs> hey, know. You can't even answer it. <laughs> like, you're, like, fights. Like, your tweet got like a ton of action. I had no idea. I, just, I saw <laughs> yeah, it the next. I was wondering if at oh. any point you there was enough activity that you were like, "Let me see what's going on." Oh my god, what have I posted? You just posted that and then went back to partying, went home, went to bed, never looked at it again. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> notice it until. I love it. Point. So. So we you know, were out, we're having a few, right? I had mm -hmm. been, I had been drinking pretty heavily. It was open bar. It was a great event. I was having a great time. And I took like a very normal looking selfie with Ozzy, like just hold the phone up yeah. right angle, no chin issues whatsoever. <laughs> um, and then past the, my girlfriend was there and she's like, Oh, let me take it. I'm like, Oh sure. And I, and like, we know Ozzy like decently well, like he's come to the office several times. And when he comes, he hangs out for like legitimately four hours. Like, we have to, like, <laughs> so like I, it, like it looks like a pose. It was really a candid, like I hit him on the chest and then, you know, I get, Hey, like look over here for the camera. And I, I have this thing I do. Everybody thinks I'm short on the internet. I'm not short. I'm fat. And it's because I lean in like this to cover up my double chin. Got so it. I lean in and I lean in and I go cheek to cheek with Ozzy and the hand placement from the slap. And it was a perfect storm. And when I was too drunk, I was going through, I wanted to post that the other picture, the normal one, which I posted later. And it was like, well, you clicked the wrong one. You fucking idiot. And like, it was by the time I noticed like 12 hours later, it was obviously way I mean, too by late. then you must oh. have had so many fucking tweets and notifications and shit. Like, did you wake up to like a, like, oh no, like, were there text messages where people like clowning you or you didn't know until you reopened Twitter for the first time? Yeah, I think it was like 7.30 the next morning yeah. and I like, <laughs> oh, like, oh God. And like, <laughs> it was vital. I didn't even know what, like, I was getting all these tweets. I'm like, what are people talking about? <laughs> and then I, I, I went all the way back to, uh, to John, to yours, where it's like engagement is hell. Yeah, and I was like, oh boy, dude. I did. So I was this just is kind bad. Of, I, myself. I was kind of just talking about it. I was home this weekend, so I was just like, my my parents were asleep. I was just like sitting up, like by the fire, watching I don't know some movie, Seinfeld, something on Netflix. I was just kind of fucking around on my phone with the TV on, and I went. What? <laughs> like, like I made a noise that literally startled my sleeping dog. Which he was like, "What are you doing, dude?" And I was like, "It was, it was. It's a great picture. It's hilarious." But then I think we look handsome. Like, oh, yeah. you, really oh, you, you both look, look You're fucking jacked. Yeah, you look huge. We yeah, said that. Yeah, we were like, "Jake, yeah. Chief's looking and, fucked up." And babe, mm -hmm. let me see these fingernails. Hold, you get manicures? A, they look fucking you know, guys, beautiful. I just have like a lot of natural pigment in my fingernails. It's Dude, you got, no, you got no uh, hangnails. You got no cuticle problems. It, that's why it looked even extra engagement where it's like you make sure that your girl gets her nails done before you give her the ring so the pictures look good. <laughs> I mean, it was so engagement. I did say, though, I, I just posited the theory that you kind of confirmed. I was saying, like, if, if sometimes if I, like, see someone, I dap it up, I give them a hug, and I'll give them one of those, like, you know, good to see you, man, and, and it just Never caught. doing that again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no more of that. So are you, are you, are you telling me... Are you telling me that it was literally like one, two, and and she caught it, or like you did that and kind of just left it there? Or I guess you're not gonna remember, but I mean it's fuzzy, but like you know, like I'm a dap up guy, and like I am like guilty. Like when I drink, I tell everybody I love them. I'm punching yeah. Yeah. Dude, there are two kinds of people. Like, yeah. I'm gonna tell you I love you. I'm gonna fight you. Yeah, I prefer rather a love lover. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> there are in this office. There are a couple of the other of the yeah, other ones. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, but like that's just ca kind of how I am, and I like I do. I love Ozzy. Like that. Yeah. Like that affection. Is there is there no so Cubs like, White Sox it, beef with him? He's transcended that. He's just a cool guy. I yeah. I never like the, all of that beef is really more so on the White Sox side because it's like an inferiority mm -hmm. complex. So mm -hmm. like, I never had like. Problem any ill yeah. will towards Ozzy at all. Right, like he's, right. And he's, he's still in the media. Like, he still does the post-game shows. Like, I don't watch a lot of White Sox baseball, but I'll tune in to the post-game show because he's just, like, electric. And yes. if they had a bet, it's 
especially when they have a bad day, because he just rips them. Yeah. He's the only guy in town that really kind of tells tells it like it is, and right. he does it, and he's hilarious. So I love Ozzy, and and I because I like I'm comfortable with him now. I had no problem like, hey, you know, like yeah, hug it up, yeah, Latin dap it up, <laughs> like trying to be boys, and it was just like, yeah, it was like one of those like perfect storm, self inflicted like wound like internet wounds but you <laughs> now know, he thank he God has worked for this company where yeah no I, well I, I saw do. some people even giving you credit being like do you think chief knew and like posted it on purpose so i was like I don't, i'm not gonna go that far but you do turn oh. lemons into lemonade when these things happen and run with it i've seen ozzy retweeting it uh some of the photoshops and like having fun have you talked to him at all do you guys like? No, you don't I like- talked to his, his son a little bit, but not really. But his, his Photoshop, I would say the top two were Joey Langone's and then Ozzy's. Ozzy's put us at Medieval Times. You guys have Medieval Times up there? Yeah. Yeah. What? 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 Is, just for fun? Is there a backstory? He just was like, "Fuck it, we're going to Medieval no, Times." That's a joke. It is like a very <laughs> Chicago thing. Like it's in the suburbs. Like yeah. I don't know why he chose Medieval Times, but I saw him like. That's great. I love it. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> someone, I had the idea for this, and then someone went ahead and just did it. They made an invitation and set the date of September 5th, 2022, and I think you guys should have a fake internet wedding. I, I'm there. Is it a Saturday? Yeah, Saturday, the, s- Saturday, yeah. September 5th. I guess that would be like Labor Day. We'll figure out a date. I think you guys should yeah. have a fake wedding, maybe either on the internet or maybe just go back to the bar and have a little... Have a little get together. Like you yeah, should we'll rent play, a tux. We'll play out in the first third. Yeah, like there you I go. Like and Elite, yeah, this is the first third. Yeah. <laughs> With some fucking burrata. Eat the burrata. Yep. Play shout early and fucking go. Yep. All right, man. I mean, it is. It's. It's. I, I don't want to get you know recency bias here, but man, I think that's gonna hold up. I think that is a fucking legendary barstool photo. The cheeks is so funny too. The your ear to yeah. ear with those sweaty drunk guys. It's amazing. <laughs> Oh, and it's like I was like sober enough to know I still have to lean in for pictures, yep. but not sober enough to be like, don't tweet that picture. <laughs> Dangerous <laughs> place to be. Dangerous <laughs> spot to That's be. That's that muscle memory. You get that. I feel like, what you, like once you like, work at Barstool and you start taking pictures all the time no. when you're drinking, yep. you get muscle memory. You see an iPhone like in front of you, you're like, all right, you could forward. be. Yeah. I, you stick the tongue to your roof of your mouth. Get the get rid of that double chin. Mm-hmm. I don't think I know that trick. Oh, yeah, because oh, yeah, 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 yeah. you, you flex, so you, it you doesn't get baggy. It. Am I doing it now? Well, don't do it with your teeth. Just, just yeah, just, <laughs> yeah. just push to the roof of your mouth and you get a little. I, I honestly, I don't, I don't notice a difference when I do it, but I've heard all the time that it's what you got to do. I've, I've looked at the mirror. I've worked on. I've, I've, we, this isn't the first time this has come up. <laughs> uh, and I've definitely like not seen it really matter, but I still do it every time. Yeah, yeah. I get, you know, you straighten well, up, you do that. Yeah. You, you could be blind drunk in your body, just yeah. you do it and well, get it. Gotta hit the well, talks, Dave always gives me shit for the lean in, and I'm like, buddy, I'm doing it for you, so you don't look so short. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on the engagement. Great now, stuff, thank man. Thank you. I'm going on. Uh, out and about tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> there you go. So, <laughs> made it to gay Reddit. Now I got to do that podcast. So it's not right, exactly man. how I want to do the barstool car wash. Like finally do something that's like sort of viral and it's like the most embarrassing thing ever. <laughs> Whatever, man. Ride yeah. the wave, dude. Yeah. All right, let's go. See you, boys. All right, please. please. We got to get to a hundred thousand. I want please, that hundred thousand plaque. These subscribers. Uh, we've got a goal for, uh, for all you out there, for everybody at a hundred thousand subscribers, Polly Feidelberg will join us on the show. Maybe. Well, if not, we'll probably have to trick her into it, but at a hundred K you will get Polly content. So subscribe, click the bell, uh, icon so you get notifications so that you're always watching. Leave a comment below, talk about it, post about it, spread word, tell your friends, tell your friends, hundred thousand subscribers on KFC radio for Polly Feidelberg. Let's make it happen. 